Ever heard of a medical treatment that involves, well, donated poop? It sounds crazy, right? But before you click away, hear me out. This isn't just your average bathroom humor. We're diving into the fascinating world of fecal transplants, a treatment that's revolutionizing gut health. Imagine, feeling constantly unwell, battling stubborn infections and conventional medicine just isn't cutting it. Then boom, a healthy dose of, you guessed it, changes everything. Sounds unbelievable, right? But that's the potential of this groundbreaking therapy. This video isn't just about the weirdness factor, though let's be honest it is kinda weird. It's about science, hope, and the incredible power of our gut microbiome. We'll explore the history, the science, the controversies, and most importantly, the real-life stories of people whose lives have been transformed by this unorthodox treatment. So are you ready to get down and dirty, metaphorically of course? Buckle up, grab your metaphorical hazmat suits, and let's explore the wild world of fecal transplants. Fecal microbiota transplant, or FMT, is a process involving the transfer of fecal bacteria from a healthy individual to a recipient, aiming to restore the balance of the gut microbiota. Our gut is a bustling metropolis of microorganisms, a delicate ecosystem where balance is key. Disruption in this balance, known as dysbiosis, can open the floodgates to a host of diseases, from inflammatory bowel disease and irritable bowel syndrome to obesity and autism spectrum disorder. In essence, FMT offers a way to reset this balance to bring the gut microbiota back to its optimal state. In the world of gastroenterology, FMT is akin to a revolution, promising a myriad of potential therapeutic applications. The journey into this fascinating realm has only just begun. Ancient practices suggest an underlying awareness of FMT's potential, but weren't part of established medical systems. The earliest documented case comes from Jie Hong, in 4th century China, who used yellow soup, likely diluted stool, to treat severe diarrhea. While interesting, this method wasn't widely adopted in the West. Some historical accounts suggest similar practices by Bedouin groups and European soldiers, further highlighting the concept across cultures. In 1958, the first reported medical use in Western medicine happened in Colorado. Dr. Ben Eisman treated four critically ill patients with fulminant pseudomembranous colitis, later known as C. diff, using fecal enemas from healthy donors. All patients recovered quickly. In 1988, Dr. Thomas Borody in Australia treated an ulcerative colitis patient with FMT, leading to long-term symptom resolution. However, some question the validity of this specific case due to lack of independent verification. The 1958 case marks the documented start of FMT in modern medicine, although its details differ from today's procedures, and the 1988 case may not be fully verified, but still contributes to the narrative of FMT's development. Embarking on the journey of fecal microbiota transplantation, one encounters various meticulous steps from donor screening to the actual transfer. The first step, donor screening, is paramount. Potential donors are meticulously evaluated for any infectious diseases, metabolic conditions, or other health issues that might be transferred through the fecal microbiota. This includes a comprehensive medical history review, physical examination, and extensive laboratory testing. A key focus is ensuring that donors have not recently used antibiotics as this can significantly alter the gut microbiota. Following successful screening we move to the second step, stool collection. This is a crucial phase where timing and technique matter. The donor's stool must be collected within a short time frame after defecation, typically within six hours. It is then stored in a sterile anaerobic environment to maintain the viability of the microbial community. Next comes the preparation phase. The collected stool is processed in a laboratory under strict anaerobic conditions to keep the bacteria alive. It is mixed with a saline solution, homogenized, and then filtered to remove any solid material. The resulting fecal suspension is a rich concoction of the donor's gut microbiota, ready for transplantation. The final step is the transfer. This is where the prepared fecal suspension is introduced into the recipient's gastrointestinal tract. The most common routes are through colonoscopy, nasogastric tube, or capsules taken orally. The choice of route largely depends on the recipient's condition and the treating physician's preference. Each of these steps is carried out with utmost precision and care. From choosing the right donor to ensuring the fecal suspension is properly prepared and administered, every detail is accounted for. It's a complex yet fascinating process, intertwining the mysteries of our gut microbiota with the promise of healing. The meticulous procedure of fecal microbiota transplantation ensures the safety and efficacy of this intriguing therapeutic approach. 
FMT's most notable application lies in combating the formidable Clostridium difficile infections. Imagine a world where a single bacterium can wreak havoc within the gastrointestinal tract, leading to severe diarrhea and life-threatening inflammation of the colon. That's the reality of Clostridium difficile, or C. diff, a stubborn pathogen that has confounded medical practitioners for decades. Enter fecal microbiota transplantation. This seemingly unconventional procedure has proven to be a potent weapon against recurrent C. diff infections. By introducing a healthy donor's fecal matter into an infected individual's colon, we can effectively repopulate the gut with beneficial bacteria, thereby outcompeting C. diff and restoring balance within the gut microbiome. No longer are we left defenseless against the onslaught of this relentless pathogen. FMT has shown remarkable success rates, with clinical studies reporting resolution of symptoms in up to 90% of treated patients. This is a significant stride in gastroenterology, a field that continuously faces the challenge of antibiotic resistance and recurrent infections. FMT has indeed emerged as a beacon of hope in the battle against C. diff infections. The realm of FMT extends beyond the confines of C. diff infections, venturing into other disease domains. As we delve deeper into the labyrinth of the human gut, we find that FMT has shown promise in a host of other conditions. Let's start with inflammatory bowel disease, a complex disorder where the gut's immune response goes awry. Early studies hint at the potential of FMT to restore the gut's microbial equilibrium, thus alleviating IBD's debilitating symptoms. On the other hand, irritable bowel syndrome, a condition marked by chronic abdominal discomfort and altered bowel habits, has also seen potential benefits from FMT. By resetting the gut's microbial balance, FMT might offer a novel approach to managing IBS. Obesity, a global epidemic, is another frontier where FMT has shown potential. By modulating the gut microbiota, FMT could possibly influence metabolic processes, thereby aiding weight management. Lastly, the mysterious realm of autism spectrum disorder. Emerging research suggests that gut microbiota might play a part in ASD, opening the door for potential therapeutic use of FMT. The potential applications of FMT are as diverse as the microbiota it seeks to regulate. Like any medical intervention, FMT is not devoid of risks and side effects. Unveiling the underbelly of fecal microbiota transplantation, one must tread with caution. The potential risks and side effects associated with FMT are multi-layered. Infection risks are a primary concern, as despite rigorous donor screening, the potential for transmission of pathogenic organisms persists. The complexity of the gut microbiome and our limited understanding of it make predicting and preventing these infections challenging. Then there are adverse reactions. Patients may experience short-term side effects like discomfort, bloating or diarrhea, but the long-term implications can be even more profound. The gut microbiome is a delicate ecosystem and altering it could potentially lead to unforeseen health issues. The risk of unpredicted long-term effects also looms large. As we dive deeper into the vast ocean of the human microbiome, we are only beginning to grasp its influence on our overall health. The risks and side effects of FMT underscore the importance of rigorous research and regulatory oversight in this field. Standing at the frontier of gastroenterology, one cannot help but wonder about the future trajectory of fecal microbiota transplantation. Recent academic studies are brimming with tantalizing prospects, revealing a potential goldmine of therapeutic applications. Technological advancements are playing a pivotal role in shaping this future. Microbiome sequencing, for instance, is allowing us to map the gut's microscopic cosmos with unprecedented precision. This could lead to highly personalized FMT treatments, tailored to the unique microbial fingerprint of each patient. Ongoing research is also pushing the boundaries of FMT beyond the realm of intestinal disorders. Preliminary studies suggest its potential in managing systemic conditions, such as cardiovascular disease and even neurological disorders. What's more, the exploration of synthetic microbiota transplants built from scratch in the lab could revolutionize the field, eliminating the need for human donors and the risk of pathogen transmission. As we delve deeper into the mystery of our gut microbiota, FMT stands poised to redefine the boundaries of gastroenterology. We hope you found this journey into the world of fecal microbiota transplantation enlightening. The complexities of our gut microbiota and the potential of FMT are truly fascinating subjects. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our gut, one thing is clear. FMT will play a significant role in the future of medicine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us to continue producing content that explores the intriguing world of science.
And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to SciSips for more fascinating insights into the world of science. This video is for informational purposes only and should not be interpreted as medical advice. Please consult with your healthcare provider for personalized guidance on your specific health concerns. The procedures and information presented may not be suitable for everyone, and individual results can vary. Remember while fecal transplants show promise, further research is still needed, and it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. From the mysteries of the universe to the wonders of the human body, we're here to quench your thirst for knowledge. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay curious. The world of science is a never-ending adventure and we're glad to have you along for the ride. In the words of the great scientist Marie Curie, one never notices what has been done, one can only see what remains to be done. So, keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep questioning. Until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.